Uh, we know that uh, when you pass out... These campaigners have been trying to solve the riddle of Dr. Afia Siddiqui's disappearance and the truth behind her imprisonment by U.S. authorities. Siddiqui, who's now receiving medical care at a hospital in the United States, is unable to speak due to mental health problems. When she's fit enough, she will stand trial for her alleged crimes. Campaigners believe she was falsely imprisoned as part of America's war on terror, similar to what happened to Mozambique and Binyam Mohamed, who were held in Guantanamo Bay. The Americans have always denied holding female prisoners in Afghanistan's background prison, but later admitted there was a prisoner known as 650. Her identity remained a mystery, but new evidence suggests that prisoner 650 is in fact Dr. Afia Siddiqui. In his first interview since being released from Guantanamo, Binyam Mohamed told Press TV's Yvonne Ridley that he saw Dr. Afia Siddiqui while he was being held in Bagram and that she is prisoner 650. After I saw the documentary, which was really moving, um, I'm 100% sure that it's uh, Dr. Asif, uh, Afia Siddiqui. My time in Bagram, she was kind of uh, heavy built. But, I mean, it's not surprising that she could lose a lot of weight in a short period of time because it usually happened to us that we could lose weight, um, 30 kilograms in a month, just like that. Did you come across any other women in Bagram? No, in Bagram I didn't see any other prisoners except uh, the doctor. If what Binya Mohamed says is true, then the U.S. have held her all this time in secret detention in Bagram. This blows a hole in the U.S. authorities' explanation that she's a top al-Qaeda operative. And whilst Afia is not a British citizen, uh, Afia is a human being and she deserves rule of law uh, and protection of law and also um, justice. Dr. Siddiqui disappeared along with her three children in Pakistan in 2003. After her case was raised by British activists, the Americans released a picture of her, accusing her of being a biochemicals weapons expert, but this was later dropped to a lesser charge of trying to shoot American soldiers. The US authorities continue to deny accusations of secret detention and rendition, as this statement shows, but Binyan Mohamed's revelations pose serious questions. Binya Mohamed offers first-hand eyewitness evidence that Dr. Afia Siddiqui was at Bagram. If this is true, the spotlight will once again fall on the U.S. authorities' detention policies and in particular its treatment of female prisoners. Usma Hussein for Press TV in London.